As you start to get deeper and deeper into your React journey, one of the first things that you will do with your Create React app is probably eject it to add more config options. Fortunately, you no longer need to do that with things like Krako, which is something that we will demo in this lesson, so let's go. We start off with the basic Create React app. We're just creating this app called Demo Krako using the TypeScript template. And I'm just going to fast forward to the whole installation process. Once that is complete, we are going to open it up in our IDE, which of course is VS Code. Now, just to give a motivating example of something that you cannot do by default with Create React app, we are going to create this components folder, which is going to house all our reusable components. And we're just going to create this dummy button over here that simply renders a button tag with some built-in default text. And now within various portions of your application, for example, within pages landing section.ts, you decide to use your reusable components. And every time you have to do that, you have to go through this process of dot dot over dot dot over components slash whatever your component is. And this looks a bit ugly. And fortunately, there is a solution for this within TypeScript, and that is using the paths option. So we can create this file called tsconfig.paths.json and we can just add the options that we need for the paths, which is going to be under compiler options. We're going to specify a base URL, which we're just going to set to root. And for the paths, we are going to add at components and start mapping it to src slash components folder. Now we can add other path mappings over here as well. And once we are done with that, we can jump into our tsconfig.json and add an extends option to bring in all of the options from the tsconfig.paths.json file. And now with this mapping in place, whenever we are going into dot dot over dot dot slash components, we can simply replace it with at components. For example, within section.tsx, we simply go at components slash button. And now this will work perfectly fine within VS Code because it will pick up tsconfig.json. However, there is a slight issue. Just because we have it in our TypeScript compiler options, it is not actually going to get picked up by Webpack or Jest, which is something that create React apps, React scripts is going to run. We can demo this by opening up the terminal and running npm start. Once this executes, you can see that there is an error on screen about Webpack not being able to find this particular module. Now, if you want to modify your Webpack config or your Jest config, you can do that with create React app. All you have to do is to run React scripts eject and these config files will be available for you. But once you do that, if you want to update to a new version of Create React app, you'd pretty much have to start from scratch. So let's not do that and look at the better way. The library that we are going to use to get access to the config options for Webpack and Jest is called Krako, and we can get that by running npm install at Krako slash Krako. And we're just going to save it into our package.json and we're going to save an exact version with minus E, which is something that I like to do. Now with this installation in place, we can create this file called krako.config.js and we use this file to provide our webpack ingest options. For our particular use case where we simply want to alias add components, we can add a webpack alias as well as a jest module mapper. Now in order for this krako config to actually take effect, we need to invoke krako instead of react scripts. So we jump into our package.json and rewire react scripts within the start, build and test command to be Krako instead. And since we no longer have a reason to eject from create react app, we will just delete the eject script altogether. Now with this in place, when we run npm start or npm t, it will actually invoke Krako, which as we specified in our Krako config.js, we'll understand the module mapping that we've already specified for TypeScript and everything will work exactly as you would expect. Now, of course, modifying your path aliases is just one of the many things that you can do with Krako. The key objective over here is that don't use React scripts eject and instead try to modify the config slightly through krako.config.js. And of course, as is common in the JavaScript ecosystem, Krako is just one of the many libraries giving you the opportunity to modify your create React app scripts config. However, the community seems to be standardizing on this particular library. So this is the one that I would recommend. And that's all for this lesson. Smash that like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.